So I've had this Forerunner TRD off-road premium for about four months now, uh, already put on about 10,000 miles. And one thing I wish I had bought when I got the Forerunner was a hood protector, because looking at it now, there are a bunch of chips in the hood already in the paint. You can see a bunch of these chips in the paint already. Boy, they kill me. Kind of hard to pick up. So I wish I had that hood protector from the beginning. So I did go and pick up a hood protector and I was just about to install it, but there are no instructions with the, with the thing. So I got to figure out how to piece this thing together now. These are the only instructions that come with this thing. Remove the protective film. I think I could figure that out. And dispose of thoughtfully. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that one. Thoughtfully. First things first, let's get off this plastic coating. Doesn't want to come off. I've thought very thoughtfully about how to dispose of this, and I think I'll just throw it in the garbage. I just tied the hood down to make it a little easier to work on so it's close by and just clean the underside so that um, there's no dirt or anything in the way. All right, here's the key. Four of these are marked with an O, four are marked with an I. So the I of the four interior ones, the O is going to be the four exterior ones, two on each side. Interior ones uh, kind of in the interior center of the hood here. Now, I thought that the plastic was going to actually attach to the bottom of the hood here, but it doesn't. The way this works is uh, the bracket, let's see, is going to attach, the bracket's going to attach like that. You're going to put a mylar strip down to protect the paint. Then the plastic hood protector is going to screw right into the metal bracket and it's going to hold it up separately from the hood. I think the hardest part about this whole thing is separating these little mylar strips from the paper backing. Need like razor blade fingernails to be able to do that easily. Now I bent these little mylar tabs a little bit before taking the backing off. Just makes it a little bit easier to apply. Alright, now I'm just going to put the metal clip in place, insert one of these plastic tabs through the middle, and insert a screw to hold it in place. Okay, the last step is just getting a nylon washer, putting it on these last screws. Put your hood protector on from the underside and screw it in the bracket. Put in all the screws, then tighten it down. All right, there's the final product. Looks pretty good. I can't decide if I like it better with it, with or without. So I like it for that reason, and it still looks pretty cool. And uh, now you know how to put it in. Have fun.